Welcome to Dear Alice, a lifestyle approach to interior design. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Dear Alice. Today's going to be a fun one. We are talking about the party pantry. You're like, what's you heard that? Us right? <laughs> do I do I need one of those? Do I have one? How do I get one? And what is it? Can you define it for me? So we're going to get into that. But first, a quick word from um, Outer. They are our sponsor, and um, Outer has amazing outdoor products. They have thought of everything. They are better in every way because they've spent years perfecting their outdoor products. I love my outdoor fire table because sunsetting is my jam. I don't have time to do it any other time, but I go out at night, I watch the sun go down, I light up my fire table and we all just gather around it and we talk and we stay out there way too late and we eat s'mores and we just stay warm and we love it. And it's our time to connect. Um, and I love checking out uh, Outer's virtual showroom. You guys, this is genius. They have over 1000 neighborhood showrooms across the country to see the outer difference in person. So that means you're just going to look it up um, and you can see uh, if you go to liveouter.com slash Alice, you can see for yourself, you can find a showroom near you and then you can go try out the products. Genius, isn't it? Um, so if you guys want to see the difference at liveouter.com slash Alice, plus for a limited time, they even give you $300 off and free shipping. This is their best offer anywhere. It's only available to you guys, our podcast listeners. And for only a limited time, you're going to get $300 off and free shipping at liveouter.com slash Alice. Again, that's liveouter.com slash Alice. Terms and conditions apply. Hey guys, party pantry time. Okay. Okay. So the party pantry, I didn't feel like it had a name, but I felt like we were doing it, um, even before. So, um, we first saw it on, gosh, it was like one of, um, gosh, was it veranda? It was veranda. I actually just pulled it up. And if you like, just Google like veranda party pantry, uh -huh. it'll actually pull up. There's referring to it also as the party closet. It says mm. the, the caption is say hello to the party closet, the most indispensable room you've never heard of. I love so, it. And I think Michelle intro. Nosbaumer, she's an interior designer out of Dallas. She was the one that originated the Coined name. Yeah. 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 And, um, her, her party pantry, I felt like was in the same issue of ours when we got kitchen of the year mm -hmm. from house beautiful. Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah. And it was brilliant. She had so much shelving. The shelving was going all of these beautiful, different arcuated lines. Um, and she fit teacups in and all sorts of things. So the party pantry is gosh, in a word, it's a place where you're going to store all of your things to party. Yeah. Your cake Other. plates, your tea, your tea vases. teapots, your vases to put flowers in your napkin rings, your linen napkins that are monogrammed. The things um, that you're actually excited your lighter, to store in like a display. Your birthday right? candles, your um, tablecloths, just all of the things you need a room for this in your house. Mm -hmm. Nobody thinks about it. My mother has a walk-in closet off the kitchen it's like more in a hallway off the kitchen, a little mm -hmm. closet yeah. where she just to put these things, her shelves were painted white. And I was like, mom, when you remodel that, you need to do like a little patterned carpet in there mm -hmm. and go for it with color because totally. your collection is beautiful with all the cake plates and serving platters and anything you need to put on Thanksgiving or Christmas mm -hmm. dinner or a baby shower or any beautiful event. At some point you really do collect all these things mm -hmm. and you need a place to put them. Not just on a bottom row in your pantry and not get celebrated because they're probably kind of expensive and you've got all of your candle holders, your, you know what I mean? Like yeah. every type of birthday your candle. Your good silver, your like your fun yes. china that's vintage or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. That's where you're displaying it. And I feel like whenever we're even designing a pantry, like off of a kitchen, like we usually look at like certain vantage points. Like from the kitchen to the first wall you see, that's where we're going to put pretty stuff. Even if you'd like, so mm -hmm. just as you're generally doing your own pantry and you don't have a one to dedicate solely to the party pantry, yeah. there's a portion of your pantry that becomes this, mm -hmm. that you just want to be visible and it makes you happy. And so like, think about that. If you don't have that right now, where could it be that you could put it so that you can, again, have somewhere to store it all, but also somewhere to shop when you are ready to throw a party. It's so much it. fun. 
Yeah, we've done, um, you guys are pretty familiar with Rachel Parcell's home that we did. There's a cabinet. We'll put this in the show notes. There's like a tall um, floor to ceiling cabinet that's painted a different color than her kitchen. It's kind of this beautiful kind of robin egg blue tone. And then in the back of the cabinet, the doors are glass. So you can see all the way to the back. It's got like this beautiful French floral wallpaper. And then in through, you can see through the glass doors, all of her party stuff beautiful cake plates and teacups and platters and uh, beautiful dessert plates and dishes. And there's a place for birthday candles and a lighter and anything that you could ever need to be able to throw a party in an instant. And it's beautiful. It's on display. Um, many of you, I'm sure in the middle of building or have built and you know what we're talking about, or if you haven't yet, hurry and squeeze in a little space for a party pantry if you like to entertain, if you're the type of person yeah. to collect this stuff anyway, give it at home. Yeah. We have a client where we did a beautiful like floral Gucci wallpaper on the, di- the formal dining mm-hmm. and she has a closet that we wallpapered over. Anyway, that is her party pantry. So you open up the doors and she has everything. Mm-hmm. Um, what was our favorite? Or we had the podcast with um, parties and uh, houses, houses and parties. Yes, that was it. Anyway, like if you go onto her website, uh-huh. houses and parties, you should go listen to the podcast and you'll totally get into the mood for a party pantry. Mm-hmm. Anyway, and you go to her website, you'll see all these things and it will just, it'll make you almost find and resurrect all those things that you probably have Yeah, for sure. For a party and you're just going to add to, and you're going to throw the best soirees this summer. Mm-hmm. So definitely look that up because I think we all, we all have like a little portion somewhere in our home yes. where we're doing this, but how can we get it displayed? And so love it. whether it's like in a hidden closet or if you only have room for like a credenza uh-huh. in your dining room, that can become your party pantry. Totally. You can have drawers just filled with linens or candles or whatever it is. So fun. There's, there's pockets to be had. There are (laughs) more parties. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. It's really addictive. It's super fun to be able to have those things. I know we, I, I was able to um, inherit my grandma's dessert plates, which are just, they're all glass and they're lovely. And every dessert just looks beautiful on this glass faceted plate. And then I, I um, inherited from great grandma, um, her silver, so I have a drawer that's all her silver and I've got these dessert plates. And then I've been collecting all the candlesticks and vases and, and tablecloths and that sort of thing. But I've definitely outgrown the cupboard and the couple drawers that I have. And now I'm at the point where I'm like, oh, I wish I could look at it all in a room. So when it's time to throw a party, you open the door, you survey what you have, you choose your palette, what it's going to be, if it's like a color or if it's silver or if it's crystal or whatever, and it's so fun. We have a lot of really beautiful marble pieces that we've made. Oh, Those will be stunning <laughs> um, to be able to add to your party pantry or mm-hmm. to keep out year round. But um, yeah, it just makes um, life sweeter to celebrate it. Yep. Yeah. In fact, we had this one client a few years ago that she, they entertained a ton. Like you'd go over to their house for a party and you'd actually cook with them. And, or, you know, and when we were building her house, she was just like, I want... I want a butler's pantry is what she referred to it. But really, when I look back, I'm like, that was a party pantry. Mm-hmm. She's like, but I want it central in the house. Like, I want to be able to have glass doors on both sides. I want people to be able to see this thing. Mm-hmm. So if you're building new, just like whether you're existing, trying to find a closet to make your party pantry, or you're building new, just know that it can be a feature. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have to be hidden. And so on this party pantry, it was probably a good, like, I bet six six foot by 10 foot space in the center mm-hmm. of their house. And we did glass doors with like metal, like stainless with a gold fillet mm-hmm. on these beautiful doors that looked in on each side with a ladder in there. So she could like survey everything. And it was just beautiful tile floor. Anyway, like it's so much fun to do something like this. If you are an entertainer and you're building, like embrace it, find a little pocket that you can show off, you know? So mm-hmm. Amazing. It was my it was my favorite room I think in the whole house was yeah. this party pantry so fun I love that um we've done uh, other spaces that are kind of like accessory kitchens to mm-hmm. the kitchen yeah um some of those are like the tasting pantry <clears throat> or the aroma kitchen or um we've done rooms for um Jewish people that are kosher kitchens or um talk a little bit about the aroma kitchen we did for oh. Yeah, for a client up in Seattle. Yeah, um, yeah, they're a Sikh family, and they just like they cook with a lot of really potent spices and paprikas. And anyway, you can imagine the food and the smells are just divine. You know, going into an Indian restaurant, 
but they wanted to have a show kitchen as their front kitchen that they didn't have to worry about staining with all of like how they cook. And then they wanted what was called an aroma kitchen. And that was just right behind and it connected to their regular pantry. And it was just so much fun because like it became this utility space, but it really a cultural kind of experience too, just to understand. And when we were designing it, we'd pull images of these different spices that like you would experience yeah. in the space and really kept those in mind as we were selecting the materials. And so Pretty. it just becomes this beautiful display of like their, her- their culture, yeah. and their heritage. And like you can, when you look at it, you can taste it, mm-hmm. you know? And so that was the display. And then the actual, they had an attached, like it was like their kitchen was in the front and then they had doors, like two doors on each side accessing the aroma kitchen and then their regular pantry and those two connected. So it kind of made this circle. Oh, nice. So you'd like cook in the aroma kitchen, but then you'd go into their pantry and you'd see just like massive buckets full of just like lentils and rice and Did all they these get beautiful like 50 things. 50 pounds of onions a week or something like yeah, that? Yeah, she goes through it. Wow. Like, yeah, the, their dining room was fit for like 30 plus people. And, They're yeah. very gracious, very generous, generous yeah. and they just feed the armies. So. so beautiful. Anyway, but it was just, it was a really fun study to just like kind of think about how do you cook? Mm-hmm. What's your, what's your celebration? Like that's what these rooms really are, you know? So I think being able to reflect that into the design and how you, the tile that you use, mm-hmm. the color shelving that you use, you don't have to use just white on white on white, like have fun with it, you know? That's yeah. Cool. I love that. Okay, really quick word from Outer. They're better in every way because they've spent years perfecting the outdoor products with stunning modular designs to customize your space, life-proof materials with nano coating. Um, That's water mold and bleach resistant. Can I get a heck yeah? Heck yeah. Oh my gosh. We all have outdoor stuff that we're like, how do we get life-proof materials? Hashtag Utah. (laughs) I do not want to have to maintain (laughs) things. And then they have over 1,000 neighborhoods um, that are showrooms across the country. That's genius to see the outer difference in person. They have triple memory foam cushions that are comfier than most uh, indoor sofas. And then outer has a patented built in outer shell that covers and protects furniture from rain and do and the how did no one think of this before invention that made shark tanks lori uh, grenier as well as mr wonderful fight to invest in outer so if you guys want to um check out outer right now you just have to um uh see the difference at liveouter.com slash alice plus for a limited time you're going to get 300 dollars off and free shipping this is their very best offer anywhere it's only available to podcast listeners and only for a limited time so you're going to get 300 dollars off free shipping at live com slash alice again that's liveouter.com slash alice terms and conditions apply Okay, back to the party pantry. Um, let's talk about a couple of subcategories like butler's pantries. Yes. Um, this is something I think we are really used to having request requested from our clients. I feel like if you're dreaming, if you're building a dream home or you're a forever after home, yeah. you just want these little accessory spaces that mm-hmm. feel a little bit more glamorous than like the normal home. And mm-hmm. every woman I feel like we talk to is like, "Can I get a butler's pantry?" Yeah, I know. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I think there's just something again about going through and like seeing your collections and seeing all your teacups and saucers and travel little bits and pieces that you bring home in one place. And they're usually a lot of times the butler's pantry is en route from like the kitchen to the dining room. Yeah, it's like I think historically where you see that it's a it's pass. A little, it's a pass through where you're like, yeah. oh, you need another nap. I need another napkin ring. I'm gonna go grab it. I just have it in my yeah. drawer. Da, 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 da. And you just grab all your necessary things. And it's, mm-hmm. I think it's a really pretty journey kind of going from your kitchen, which is utility through a butler's pantry to the party. And nobody makes their butler's pantry white. If they have a white kitchen, they're mm-hmm. usually like choosing their favorite color. We Jewel. have a beautiful dark green one that has antique mirror backsplashes mm-hmm. and then has all their collections of different glasses. Sometimes they have wine fridges in them. Yeah. Um, just anything you'll need in moments notice to hop up from the party if you're the hostess and hurry and grab a little toothpick or a little this or a that or another or another glass or another bottle of wine. You need to or, take a quick call and I'm just going to escape and run into the butler's pantry. Yeah. You know, it's just, it's a, it's a beautiful environment to be Sometimes in. Sometimes it's staging area um, where you can have dessert and then you pop in and grab it and put it on the table. Just a magic trick of a space. Yeah. Yeah. It's something you usually want to show off. Definitely. Do a glass door on it. Yeah. 
So I feel like every host is like, oh, and I'll give you the tour. And they're just so excited to get to the Butler's, the butler's pantry. pantry. It's like the powder room, right? Yeah, it kitchen. is. It's it is really the powder fun. room of a place. So that's a lot of fun. Um, I talked a little bit about my mom's really cute uh, platters and linens and all of the things. Her shelves are starting to bow. She's just got so many amazing decades of pewter and glass and solid Disney animation of that. I'm just like the mall coming to life and they're just like overrun and beautiful. She couldn't need another cake plate, but she would still buy one in an instant. Um, So anyway, she has a little closet that we've turned into and call the party pantry now. And I think she loves it even more now that it has a name. Um, We have a client in Colorado that we had to reconfigure their kitchen. Yes. I'll talk a little bit about that. I do. Yeah, this is a client that we did their basement a few years back and they've come back to get the rest of it. Alice Lane, they use it as a action item. So we are, we're doing their whole kitchen and main floor and it's been so much fun to reimagine this floor plan. And their kitchen, we gave them two options, like one, the kitchen with a, like a butler's pantry and a regular pantry, kind of more customary that they would expect. And then I was working with a design team, um, we were just talking about what are other ways we can imagine because there's this portion of their kitchen that had these like French doors that go out to like this little garden area mm. and they entertain a lot. And I think everyone entertains more post COVID. Mm-hmm. I think we're in our homes more. We appreciate being in our homes. Food tastes better in our homes yes. guys. And we can invite people that we love. And so and they're big, they love wine and they love this like beautiful experience. And so we designed their kitchen and then off of that with like glass doors that you can see into the space was like this massive space. So we're just like, we could create like a pantry with like beautiful doors, you know, that could slide back and forth, but then also put their dining table in there so they could kind of come in here and actually have it be a tasting pantry, you mm. know, and then they could open, swing open the French doors into their garden and just have people come over and there's a big, oh, there's a wine fridge and a kind of a different experience yeah. in there, but it's a lot more celebrated than it would have been if we just did a normal pantry. So fun. It's so fun. And they freaked out over it and we're Love doing that. it. So stay tuned, but it's going to be Oof, rad. So good. I think it's just, it's a different way of living. Yeah. You know? For sure. Yeah. Definitely. I love that. And if like you're building you see, a custom home, you want kind gosh. of a custom outcome. So I think yeah. that's going to be really extraordinary. It's kind of like when you see even just like a, a table is the island. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like there's something really homey about that. They can like just go sit in there while the person's like preparing or, yeah. or doing something utility and having really great conversation and eating the best sampling the food as it comes out. Yeah. I don't know. There's just a real, I think I'm, I'm Nancy Myers moment there. Yeah. <laughs> so everybody, I agree. So I, yeah, I'm so excited about that one. That's so cool. Um, okay. We'll talk a little bit about, um, Tiger Oaks Pantry. That was a favorite. Oh, yeah. We'll put this on the show notes, but go ahead. I do love this. This is like one of those moments where this was like their, they didn't have another pantry. This was their regular pantry. And we had two doors. Like it was kind of this like little hallway that we've kind of talked about, but had a door from the kitchen and then had a door from the mudroom. So that when you come in with groceries, you can come and drop things off really easily. But we just dressed it in this green paint and with just like wooden accents and it was everything. And we, when we designed the shelving, we like made room for a painting that she had mm-hmm. of a chocolate cake, you know, that like totally evokes this, I don't know, this whole mood mm-hmm. and kind of, we got to dress everything around it, but even like the utility stuff, the canned food, the yeah. other containers, everything looks prettier. I feel like the flooring in there was also kind of precious. The black and white little one by ones mm-hmm. yeah, gave it this hex. old school feeling to it yeah. that felt like an old kitchen or an old restaurant or some yeah. other worldly place. And um, it's just like a real mood. It felt space. We would say this is where you'd whisper all the secrets in this little safe room. I don't know why, but women love tiny things and yeah. tiny spaces. Yeah. And yeah, it just feels safe and homey in there. Yeah. But I think if you can carve out spaces in these utility spaces to hang a painting yeah, or to hang your platters, you know, like it just dresses them up. Definitely. Immediately. Yes. So, the food looks better. The oh dishes gosh. look more homey. It just, yeah, it's lovely. Hang art yeah. in those pantries. Yeah. Yes. They have like this one window in Tiger Oak that like they had, if you look at the pictures, they have obviously the green painted canted shelves. Mm-hmm. And then on the other end, there's a window with these Tiger Oak, like the rolling um, 
kind of storage uh -huh. on top of the, you know, the ones. Like the old Hoosier cabinets. Yep. Yep. Kind of inspired the whole name. But there's this window where you're just like, there just used to be this like beautiful marble plate with like a dome of like mm. cookies or donuts or something that like is just sitting there. Just any, everything looks prettier. Yes. And you imagine these moments and you throw a party because of them, you know? I love that. So good. And then one last one let's talk about. We have a favorite client named Amber. We're working on a second home of hers right now. And um, Hi, Amber. Yes. I know. <laughs> We're going to not say her last name just to protect her in case she didn't want her whole name said. But anyway, uh, you know who you are. Um, she has a regular pantry and then her beautiful display cabinet. Let's talk about yes, those. I Both know. of those spaces I think are amazing. I know. She has all of her, she has inherited a lot of China and beautiful things. And so the cabinet in the kitchen like all the perimeter cabinetry is white but she wanted to go like dark black on this china cabinet to display all of her things and so that's what we did and we had this gold in like inlaid liner on the cabinetry beautiful hardware and it just displays it can be it's kind of like an unmade bed but a beautiful unmade bed like it doesn't even have to be professionally displayed and it still looks good because it's actually specific to her china and all of her chiseled crystal and all these things. And it's just the prettiest. So if you're building nude, just know that that kind of like Rachel's, it doesn't have to be the same color as the rest of the cabinet. She's super dressy. Mm -hmm. So she has polished marble floors. And so this black cabinet with the gold inlay makes complete sense. Yeah. It's beautiful. Put that on our show notes too. It's lovely. And I, I also think that like the older we get, the more life that we've lived, the more collections we usually acquire, right? Because we've had all these lives. We've had all these birthdays. We have all these precious things. And so it makes sense that when you're doing that dream home that you accommodate the room for it, just like you want a larger yeah. closet now your dishes need a larger closet. So in that veranda article, I said that the party pantry is replacing the shoe closet. Yes. As far as interest right now. <laughs> I love that. That's so good. Because uh, so. we're, we're barefoot and having a party, yeah. <laughs> uh, I love that. Uh, That's adorable. I, I will say her regular pantry, though, like we did like gold leaf the ceiling. Like yeah, she's just did. the most fun. Mm -hmm. She's the most fun. But then there's even portions like where she didn't have room in that china closet to like you know, do the slotted organizers. And that's where she has all of her silver trays and all of her entertaining when you look into the space. And it's just, it's so pretty to even, again, making your ordinary extraordinary and just yeah. paying attention, pick the color, you know, like do something different, buy better hardware because it can be beautiful. I love that. So good. Um, last word from Outer. They make the world's most beautiful, comfortable, innovative, and high quality outdoor furniture, all from sustainable materials. And it's the only outdoor furniture with a patent built in cover to make protecting it effortless from teak chairs to fire tables. Um, everything makes uh, Outer makes has the look and feel of what you'd expect from at a five star resort. For less than you pay at a big box store for something that won't last. You guys can see the difference at liveouter.com slash Alice. Plus for a limited time, you're going to get $300 off and free shipping. This is their very best offer anywhere. And it's only available to you guys for listening to the podcast and only for a limited time. You're going to get $300 off and free shipping at live. L, um, it's L-A-V-E and then O-U-T-E-R dot com slash Alice. Again, liveouter.com slash Alice. Terms and conditions apply. Thanks so much for listening, guys. We will catch you next time and um, have a good one. Hey, thanks for listening. If you like our show, please leave a five-star rating.